Hey guys, sorry for switching from vertical to horizontal so much. I'm new to this. I will get better. Hi there. Welcome to a five minute review of Zoetri Villa Rolandi Isla Mujeres. This is just quick thoughts on our trip as two single folks with no kids and our travels around the world. Uh, this was our first time at a uh, boutique or a smaller resort. We did enjoy it. This is the yacht that uh, takes you over and returns you. It's kind of rough waters on this day of our return. Um, so be ready for that if you're not much of a seafaring person. Beautiful resort. I think I counted 35 rooms or so. Um, all rooms look to face the sea in this gorgeous view. This is uh, Casa Rolande, the restaurant there. Excellent, excellent food. I'll talk a little bit more about that later. This is the infinity pool and sort of the picturesque place uh, that the resort is known for, those palm trees and that view of Cancun. This is from the uh, presidential suite, the rooftop. It shows the three pools. To the left there is a pool. The center, that's a uh, sort of a giant whirlpool that is seawater, and then the infinity pool to the right there with all the chairs. This is the infinity pool. Uh, again, the iconic view, the palm trees, it's just beautiful. You can see there's several yachts out there. The, the one pretty large yacht was parked out there uh, for the whole trip. Spent a lot of time at this pool. It was beautiful, wonderful. Uh, there's also a fountain and a shelf kind of up there that you can sit on. This is the fountain. You could get a little close to it and get sprinkled. And again, there's the yachts out there. Uh, let's see. This little wildlife, this guy uh, will come right up to you. Uh, I would advise not to feed them, but I think everybody does. The beach. Uh, these are the stairs down to the beach from the pool. A uh, small beach, but beautiful, picturesque. This is kind of the, where the infinity drops down. Kids were playing down there, etc. There's chairs, umbrellas, hammocks, a couple of kayaks, and of course that beautiful view of the turquoise. Uh, I will say the, the, the sand is a little different from Cancun. It was a, a touch grittier, and the seagrass is not really well managed. You can't really walk out past knee high, or you'll be walking in the seagrass. So if that bothers you, it is what it is. Nighttime view of the lobby right there straight across in that little hutch is the cozy bar. That's the only bar on property, and I think they open at 5 p.m. until 11. Great drinks in there. He's an awesome mixologist. Really nice, kind of old school lobby, very islandish. Now, we got off property two times in our three days. I really advise you get off property, go see the locals. Uh, it was very cool. This was Punta Sur. We also went to Playa Norte. Punta Sur is at the south end of the island, Playa Norte is at the north. Really cool trip. Go to some local places. This place, Soggy Peso, is freaking awesome. Just love it. Love it. Um, take a hat or a koozie, staple it to the wall, have a drink. It's a cool little beach club there. Um, another bar. This is really the touristy area up in Playa Norte, but uh, I just can't can't stress enough how you should get out of there. Now, the food. Uh, great coffee at the restaurant. Uh, this is, again, at Casa Rolandi. Really good coffee. Again, excellent drinks in the cozy bar. I had a Manhattan, some beers at the pool, etc. Um, we did the romantic dinner down on the beach, which was awesome. Candlelit, tiki torches, uh, luminary bags, etc. Um, the stairs down, they had a bottle of champagne, a, a picture with our name on it, etc. It was a lobster dinner. Um, the lobster was very good, but you need to understand that it's Caribbean spiny lobster. It's not what many Americans are used to with a Canadian or, or a New England lobster. It's a different kind of lobster. Still sweet, still succulent, still delicious, but uh, just don't be terrified when they serve you an alien. The other food, uh, eggs, rancheros, this is a lamb um, dessert. We had uh, room service for breakfast almost every day. It was absolutely phenomenal. This French toast is to die for. Uh, the soup. Uh, we had the salad, goat cheese salad. This is a tuna croquette coming up, etc. So the food here is just, I cannot stress how good it is. It's miles and miles and miles better than any all-inclusive I've ever been to by far. You cannot, I can't stress enough how amazing the food is here. They have this magic oven. That's what that bread's from. Tuna tartare, calamari. I mean, this ravioli my wife could not get enough of. It was amazing mushroom uh, truffle ravioli. Excellent desserts. Uh, again, the food here is just to die for. It. I will come back just for the food. Um, it's that good. And, of course, we also did the Sunset Cruise, which I cannot recommend enough. It's awesome. Go out there. Go on the Sunset Cruise. Enjoy yourself. Overall, highly, highly recommend the resort. We will be back. A couple small deductions. Uh, the beach, again, the seagrass, that's my only complaint. Otherwise, it's phenomenal. And, I mean, that's nature. So, 
Uh, the other deduction service was just the service was a little slow one day at the pool and it wasn't very busy and then also there was a couple management issues i had an appointment to do a cooking uh a private cooking lesson with the chef that was supposed to come with a signed apron it didn't happen the chef just didn't show up i was wandering around for 20 minutes looking for him um, they had an issue with the ferry where they closed the port the day before and then reopened it in the morning but they didn't communicate that to me and then when we scheduled our room service they just didn't adhere to that schedule at all. But all in all, really love the place. We'll be back, no question about it. Thanks for watching. Any questions at all, drop them in the comments. I will answer every question. Thanks.